listening. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up at first hour top story. Hundreds of local parents are in a state of panic after Apple Trees Children's Center announced in an email Thursday that they will be shutting down in January. One mother we talked to says that not only does she have to try to find another daycare, but she fears this will have an emotional impact on her children as well. It means uprooting them and uh, putting them into a new environment that they're not familiar with and uh, going through the, uh, that adjustment process. And at this age, that's not easy. Like, they're just so little, they don't understand. Euchre yeah. says she won't hear back from the daycare she hopes her children will get into until next week. Apple Tree stated in an email that is closing due to staffing shortages, inflation, and other rising costs. Many of the Apple Tree parents applied Friday for open spots at the boys and girls clubs of the Sioux Empire. That included Kylie Schwartz, whose three-month-old daughter was supposed to start at Apple Tree next month. I called here and they said that they had openings. I said, what do I have to do to reserve a spot? I said, well... I'd come down as soon as you can and fill out paperwork in person and process your registration payment as soon as you can because uh, they're getting a lot of calls too. Schwartz was one of the parents lucky enough to get her daughter enrolled. The Boys and Girls Club say they could take more of the Apple Tree children if only they could hire more teachers at the nonprofit. A Sioux Falls woman who's on parole for drugs and escape is now facing new charges following Thursday's standoff with the SWAT team. Authorities arrested Summer Herman following the standoff at 13th Street and Holly Avenue. It began when officers attempted to serve a warrant. They were led inside the residence and then shortly after uh, making uh, their way into the little uh, foyer area, uh, they heard uh, a female upstairs uh, saying that uh, she had a gun and would not be leaving the house alive. Authorities were concerned because another woman and child were inside with Herman. She eventually let them leave and police made the arrest. Herman appeared in court on Friday on kidnapping charges. South Dakota State University football team is once again advancing to the FCS National Championship following a convincing victory in the semifinal playoff game in Brookings last night. The top-seeded and defending national champs Jack Rabbits routed number 5 seed Albany 59 to nothing for their 28th consecutive victory. SDSU will take on either NDSU or Montana for the championship. Those two teams play later today. If you want to see the championship game in person, Kelloland Media Group is once again hosting a VIP fanfare trip to Frisco, Texas. All you need to do is go to kelloland.com to reserve your spot on one of the buses. The FCS championship game will be on Sunday, January 7th, with travel days on the 5th and the 8th. Let's take a first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Megan Chatta in the Storm Center. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, everyone. We have some light rain and snow showers passing through eastern Kelowind. Also dealing with some fog underneath of those, so we have some visibility issues. We're down to a mile of visibility in Ortonville, two in Marshall, six in Brookings. Sioux Falls is back up to 10 miles, and we're down to two miles in Spencer, Iowa. Here is a look at future cast. The rain in green, snow in blue, and pink is a little bit of both. Those showers are coming to an end as we go through the later parts of this morning for a mostly quiet evening and overnight and a quiet morning for your Sunday. But this model is thinking there's another chance of light rain and snow showers starting later on tomorrow evening in northeastern Kelloland. Those will move out of our area, but we could see a band of snow later on Monday morning for our viewers in western Minnesota. Our winds are going to stay light today, but coming for tomorrow, those stronger winds picking up in western South Dakota, the yellows and reds are wind gusts well over 30 miles an hour expected. And these move into central and northeastern Kelloland as we head through the early parts of tomorrow evening. The later parts of the evening bring the stronger winds into southeastern Kelloland. So once the rain and snow showers come to an end this morning, mostly cloudy skies in eastern Kelloland, 39 Sioux Falls, 37 Aberdeen, 41 in Pier and Sunshine, and 49 in Rapid City. Partly cloudy skies overnight with light winds, lows dropping into the mid-20s. Then coming for your Sunday, partly cloudy skies, northwest winds do pick up just slightly, 43 in Sioux Falls, 41 in Aberdeen, 45 in Pier, and a windy 49 in Rapid City. 
We'll take a closer look at your mostly dry seven day forecast in just a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Megan. Well, ugly Christmas sweaters are more than a holiday fashion fad. They're the centerpiece of one of the Sioux Falls Stampede's biggest fundraisers. The hockey team is set to host ugly sweater night this evening. The players will wear these specialty jerseys, which are currently up for auction, with proceeds benefiting the Salvation Army. The event also raises awareness. Poverty, homelessness, hunger are all big concerns that we face here in town. So it's nice that around the holiday time, we can still bring that forward and have folks, you know, being extra generous during that time as well. Ugly Sweater Night features the Stampede taking on the Fargo Force. The puck drops at 6.05 at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Both teams will be wearing their ugly sweaters. Haven Gaming and Parker is hosting a free board game night from 1 to 9 p.m. You can play their board games or bring your own. Kids will receive a free game to take home while supplies last. The free will donations will go to the Parker Public Library. It's the final full day of winter weekends in downtown Sioux Falls. There'll be fun activities for the family in front of the 10th Street mural from 1 to 9 p.m., including bumper cars, food trucks, and live entertainment. Admission is free. Sioux Falls Parks and Rec is hosting a doggy holiday party at the Kirby Dog Park from 10 a.m. to noon. Activities include an ugly sweater contest for dogs, plus a stocking station, photos, and holiday music. Bronze Age Art Casting in Sioux Falls is hosting Fire and Ice 2023, featuring an outdoor molten iron pour. The event goes from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Admission is free, and you can create your own iron casting by purchasing a workshop kit for $35 a tile. The Fire and Ice Market has expanded to the Little Stone Church on East 6th Street. Megan? We do have that chance of light rain and snow showers moving through early this morning. Clouds breaking up tomorrow in Sioux Falls. Monday brings temperatures closer to normal before rebounding to the mid 40s for the first day of winter with a chance of a few light rain showers on Friday. In Aberdeen, clouds breaking up throughout the day tomorrow. Monday, the cool day with temperatures closer to normal. Low 40s back for the middle part of your week and first day of winter with a chance of a few light rain showers Friday. In Pier, a dry seven day forecast with those temperatures in the low to mid 40s through the first day of winter and that warm air sticks around through Christmas. In Rapid City, a bit breezy coming tomorrow. Low 50s back for your work week, which includes the first day of winter and that warm air sticks around through Christmas. Here's a look at Lake Madison again where there's snows coming down. Enjoy your Saturday.